ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു മോങ്കോ ടി ബി വിത്ത് സി ഷാപ്പ് ബിഗിനേഴ്സ് ടുറിയൽ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സിക്സ് വീഡിയോ ഓഫ് ദ ടൂട്ടോറിയൽ സീരീസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ വാച്ചിങ് അവർ വീഡിയോ ഫോർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ദ പ്ലേലിസ്റ്റ് ലിങ്ക് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ അതർ വീഡിയോ ലിങ്ക്സ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ടുറിയൽ സീരീസ് ഇൻ ദ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഐ സജസ്റ്റ് യു ടു വാച്ച് ദ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ എ ബിഗിനർ and we request you to support us by subscribing the channel and liking the videos please don't forget to call, to click the bell button so that you will get notified once we upload new videos we will be uploading more video tutorials of latest technologies and techniques in software development so stay updated let us start the session now so in this video we are going to check find one and update function of mongodb database so in the previous sessions we already discussed how to use the find command find command is for fetching the data from the database also we have discussed how to use update command update command is for updating the records so the is a function named find one and update so let us check how it works so now i have taken the update button click event so this is the previous update command we have given to update a record so here we have a filter definition to filter with the product code with the code what we enter in the text box product code text box and after filtering uh, updating the data the product name and price from the data or from the value what we have entered in product name and price text boxes now for find one and update i'm just declaring one more variable find one and update options equal to new find one and update options of product product is our model class so here we have an option named return document so in return document we can provide a value return document dot after or return document dot before so i will explain you what is the difference currently i am using return document dot before also we can use absurd option here is absurd equal to true so absurd we have already explained in a previous video so the same function we can use here as well so anyway now we are not using absurd now instead of this update one command i am using product collection dot find one and update of filter definition update definition so both filter definition and update definition are the same what we have used before now one more option i am giving the find one and update options okay so this will return a product so i am just getting it in a variable named product okay so here we will get a product variable which is the same model object so we will get the product id product code product name and price so to check what is the difference 
I'm just using a message box and displaying what are the values we are getting in the product object what we have returned from this function so the message box should show a value or message box text and just declaring a value message box text equal to uh, product dot okay before that for understanding product name plus product dot product name so I think you all will be knowing the concatenation so this will show product name is uh, and it will take the product name value from the subject so there is a easier option instead of this so I I used to do in that way so we can use a dollar symbol here dollar symbol here and type the same way product name and for using the variable instead of plus product dot product name here I am opening a curly bracket and inside the curly bracket I am opening and closing it and inside the curly, curly bracket I am typing product dot product name <coughs> okay now it will show the product name and we also need the, the product price so for just showing it in the next line and um, yes uh, I have just given slash r slash n for just showing the next price in the next line so here again I am giving it the same way price opening the curly braces product dot price to string the string is not needed anyway it will automatically convert to string so I am giving like this now message box dot show this message box text okay so now let us check okay I am just giving this method right below this update function find one and update function so it will right away load the grid and after that it will show the message box okay now I'm running the application yes the application is running now <coughs> so here we are using uh, product code 102 we are updating this particular record product 102 so product name oh okay one moment uh, instead of min I'm using set command so setting the value we have used uh, min command for a previous video for the previous video okay now I am updating this product code 102 and uh, product name as product 100002 so now it is 102 I am updating it to 00002 and the price currently it is 620 I am updating it to 500 okay now I am clicking the update button so you can see now in the data grid view the value got updated here it has updated the product name to 100002 and the price to 500 but in message box it has shown the previous value so that means here if we are giving the return document dot before so the database will first the database will return the product record just before updating 
the values means it will return the uh, the values uh, the previous values so you can see here the product name is product 102 this is this this was the previous value product 102 and price 620 was the previous value 620 now let us check by giving return document dot after so this is just the opposite the database will return the updated value so now I am updating product code 103 and product name product 100003 and price 200 now if I am clicking you can see the value got updated and the uh, database has returned the new updated values price and product so now what is the use of find one and update options you might be thinking we can do the same process or do the same operation using two different commands we can use the same update command and we can use the find command separately but in that case the application has to send two different requests to the database to do this operation but if we are using find one and update options using a single request we can do these two operations so that is the use of find one and update options and uh, one more small thing I need to show in this video is how we can get the count it is a very simple thing so I am just placing a label here so what I am uh, what I need is this label should show the total number of products or listed in this data grid view or the total number of products in our database so I'm just taking the properties of the label and uh, uh, just I'm giving count uh, this is just for understanding this is how it, it will show now the name we are giving LBL product count okay now what we need to do is in our find command find command is load product data so I'm just going to that particular method so this is the method we when uh, in which we are loading the data to our data grid view so here what we can do is for an easier option we can just give it like this lbl product count dot text equal to products dot count sorry yeah products dot count oh sorry uh, products dot count to string so this will work uh, but here what I need to explain is how we can get the count from the database why because in our application we will be having requirement to get the count of data instead of getting the data we just need to get the count so here I'm just showing how we can do that what product count equal to product collection dot count documents of we can give the filter definition as well so this particular count document function will return a long variable so this product count will be a long variable now we can give lbl product count dot text equal to product count variable to string now I'm starting the application
here it is showing five there are five records so we forgot to do one thing actually we need it in a formatted way so product count yeah now it will show like this yeah product count equal to five so now this value is coming from the database the application is not calculating it or the application is not taking the count from the uh, listed from this product list instead it is getting from the database so that's it for this video if you are having any doubts you can comment to the video we will be replying it as soon as possible so hope you enjoyed the video please like the video and see you in the next video thank you all